scout platoon from 1-4 Infantry. They have a reputation of a of mythical creature that sneaks up at night and takes things off the battlefield or uh, detains personnel. There is a thrill to being the bad guy. For every NATO exercise, you have two sides, played by NATO allies and partners. You have the good guys, and then you have the opposing force, or OP4. They're the bad guys. I'm here at Hohenfels Training Area in southern Germany, home of the U.S. Army's 1st Battalion, 4th Infantry Regiment, or 1-4. 1-4 is infamous throughout NATO for providing a bracingly realistic training experience. Oh, these guys are pretty good at what they do. Join me as I try to get inside the mindset of 1-4 and see what it takes to be the opposing force. Welcome to Hohenfels, home base for 1-4. I'll be joining them for 24 hours to see how they test NATO allies in an exercise scenario. First stop is to get some new threads. And then this just goes, clip it, clip it to here. Yep. Got it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Then I signed on to a reconnaissance mission with 1-4 scouts, a platoon notorious for being somewhat creative in their methods. Our mission, sneak up on a NATO airfield and observe its helicopters without being detected by any of the guards. trying to stay concealed so they can make a sketch of the airfield. I mean, it's kind of like a really intense game of hide and go seek. <laughs> we're sitting here hiding and watching them and they have no idea we're here. You got three minutes to finish that one. It doesn't gotta be beautiful. It's gonna make sense. With the sketch complete, it was time to make a stealthy retreat. When we heard a convoy of Humvees approaching, we had to dive for cover. So right now, there are dudes like 10 meters away in that direction. So we're just doing our best impersonation of a potted plant and staying as still as we can. Then, disaster struck. I was spotted by one of the guards. While the rest of the team had made a clean getaway, I was stuck. I don't know what to do right now. Then help came in the form of an American transport plane. I used the noise to cover my escape. Mission complete. Until I saw the disappointed faces of the scouts. Huh? Did you stop when I called out? Yeah, but then when the planes came over, we split. Okay, Roger. Yeah, they uh, they heard one of us when we got close. They they called out a halt and then we just kept moving. But um, if you want, I'll send you the pictures and, and sketches we took. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, we learned something. They were alert. They heard us coming, and um. I don't want to say I compromised the team, but I probably compromised the team. With a bruised ego, feeling like a liability, I realized I still had a lot to learn about what it takes to play the opposing force. I have learned exponentially from allies across Europe uh, in this job. We learn a lot about how we communicate, what's more important to our formations. The winning really comes in the readiness built um, from our NATO alliance here. Uh, when you come to train, uh, you will be better prepared uh, and ultimately be able to deter an adversary when you go back to your home station. So real quick, because we have a really ad hoc team. Back at headquarters, the scouts are getting ready for a night mission. After a few hours, we found a new target a U.S. artillery battery that didn't seem well guarded. In true bad guy fashion, they tricked the sleeping guard into thinking we were part of his unit. Is this real? What's up? Is this real? 
Rios? Yeah, my bad. Is this Rios? I think I went to the wrong person. Yeah, it's Mac. My bad, sorry. Thank you. Do you know where Rios is at? There is no specialist Rios. This guard and his artillery have just been captured. These late night raids are not always appreciated, but rules are rules. Should these troopers be called upon to defend the Alliance in an actual conflict, they won't likely make this mistake again. Being the bad guy isn't easy, but after 24 hours, I understood how crucial they are to improving NATO's forces. The Alliance is strong today. It'll be stronger tomorrow. Um, and that is because they do show up to this rotation to build readiness and be prepared. And the more prepared they are, the more deterrence capability that they have, and the more assurance that we have across our allies. And this is where those relationships are built.